Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises and glories to Kwahallah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, or Kwakwadash, the blood and said apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you, Akim, all around the world, you know, noise in this word abroad, all around the world, and honors to you, brothers, pushing this work in sincerely, diligently, and faithfully, and in truth. And shalom to you sisters, to you few sisters out there that's listening to silence through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai. So, um, I'm going to title this video, Though It Tarry, Wait For It, Because It Will Surely Come, It Will Not Tarry. Um, yeah, just because um, the prophecies, you know, hasn't really hit home yet, that doesn't mean that it's not going to come to pass. You know, because the Lord said that he's not a man, that he should lie, you know. And really, you know, you should be waiting patiently for these things to happen. Because if slavery and all these other atrocities, like, you know, the curses of Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, are, um, happen to us, as a nation, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, you know, we're at the bottom of the totem pole. So if these situations, if us coming here in cargo slave ships, <coughs> you know, and all of these other um, incidences already took place, you know, what makes you think that these prophecies are not going to come to pass, like concerning the RFID technology, concerning the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, <coughs> you know, them thermonuclear missiles flying over here and completely destroying this place, you know? So what makes you think that these things are not going to happen? They're going to happen. All right. But the thing is, you just got to have the faith and the patience to believe it. You know, you got to apply these scriptures. All right, so this is the book of, you know, Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1. And it reads, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm approved, reproof. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. You see key word right there. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. You know, so in due time, you know, these things will happen, you know, in due time, these prophecies will come to pass in due time, <coughs> you know, for, for an appointed time, but it says here, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry, so though it tarry, you know, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You just got to have the patience and the faith to wait for it. You know. Saying, you know, it seems like every year is a failed prophecy and all of this nonsense, you know. That just shows that you don't have faith. You know, if you if you have that kind of thinking, you know, that kind of mindset, then you really don't understand what you're truly involved in when it comes to this truth. Because this thing is long-suffering. This thing is not a microwave you know, you know, situation that takes place overnight. <coughs> All right. So like, yeah. you know, this, these things take time. You know, it's an appointed time. The Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, set that appointed time, you know. So everything falls in its time, in, in the Most High's timing. You know, we're, we're on his time, you know, we're not 
you know, the most high is not on our time, okay? We're on the most high's time. We're on the Yahweh Bashim Yahshai's time. All right, so everything works on his time and not our timing, okay? You know, just like, you know, going back um, real quick. Let's see right here. All right, so this is um, the situation, you know, with the disciples. Because um, the disciples, they wanted the kingdom right then and there. They wanted Yahweh Shai to restore the kingdom, you know, restore the kingdom of Israel right then and there. So um, th this is the scripture, Acts chapter 1, verse 6. And when they, um, and when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, "Lord, um, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom of, um, kingdom, the kingdom to Israel?" So Yahweh Shai answered them, and this is what he said, and he said unto them. It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father had put in his in his in his power in his own power. You know, so the Lord said it's not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father had put in um in his own power, you know. Now granted, you know, the signs are there. You know, the Lord said, watch as well as pray. You know, when you see like earthquakes and uproars of the people, then you know that the Lord is soon going to come, you know. But the point was that, you know, the disciples, they wanted the kingdom right then and there, you know. But the thing was, we still had to, you know, we still had to play out the story. You know, the story wasn't finished yet. You know, there were still some things that needed to come to pass, you know. Like, the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. We still had to fulfill that. You know? So we still had to go through those curses. And all of that. You know, likewise, you know, you know, prophecy still has to come to pass. You know, this um, RFID technology still has to be implemented, you know? The time of Jacob's trouble still has to happen. The famine of the word still has to take place. You know, so there's still a, a few prophecies that still have to come to pass. <coughs> and the thing is, we just got to be patient and still wait. So just because things hasn't, ha hasn't happened yet, you know, that doesn't mean that the prophecies are not going to, it's not going to um, be fulfilled. Uh, just because you don't see it, you know, taking, happening overnight. You know, you know, these, these prophecies, prophecies are still going to come to pass. So let's get, um, all right, let's get, um, Isaiah real quick. So this is Isaiah 55 and 11. And it reads, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper into where to i send it so the word of the heavenly father is not going to go out void okay all right all right so what yeah bashim yashai said you best believe is going to come to pass okay 
There's no ifs, ands, or buts. All right, it's not a question of if, but a question of when. And the answer to that question is, you know, real soon. You know, so these things will happen. All right, these prophecies will come to pass. But the thing is, you know, men that come in this truth, you know, they endure for a little while, but when they see, you know, things not taking place, things not happening, and they start catching all kind of hell, you know, that's when they, that's when, that's when they back out of it, you know. That's when they start changing up the doctrine and start take changing up certain things to um, better fit their narrative, you know, to make themselves feel more comfortable. You know, but they didn't have the faith or the patience to endure, you know, <laughs> to endure, you know, the hell that came upon them. You know, you're supposed to apply these scriptures. So like you, you're supposed to apply these scriptures and and work from there, you know. You know, you're supposed to apply these scriptures. You're supposed to apply these scriptures to yourself. And then build from there and build your spirit. And be ready to withstand the darts of the devil, of Satan. But you see, you know, individuals, they come in this thing and they don't apply these scriptures. This is why that, this is why they end up falling out. You know? So you have to apply this, this thing. You know, you have to learn how to apply it and use it, you know, use the tools. Like I always say, you got to know how to use the tools in this thing. And part of using the tools is praying, you know, and doing some fasting, you know, build your spirit, you know, strengthen your spirit. Because that's the only way you're going to get through this thing by praying, you know, scripture says pray without ceasing. You know, that, that's the only way you're going to maintain in this truth and hold and hold fast to what you've been taught, you know. So with that, I didn't want to make this video long. I just wanted to make that point, you know. Give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, Bashim, Rukwakwadash, Shalom.